Hello, welcome back to Two Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard, and today I'm here to show you how to move your school's lesson plan format onto a Google Form, store them in a Google Drive, and in doing so, create a treasure trove of usable information for each department. How this works is, as teachers submit their lesson plans, each part of it is broken down into a spreadsheet, which aggregates over the course of the year that can be easily searched and analyzed. Let's say, for instance, you get your state testing data back at the end of the year and your sophomore English class all underperformed on State Standard 3.2. In just a couple of clicks, you're able to go through and see exactly how many times Standard 3.2 was taught by each teacher and what instructional strategy they used. So if you have teacher A whose students performed well on 3.2 and teacher B and C whose students underperformed, you can see what they did differently and make those adjustments for next year. This is just one example of how you can use this information to really inform instruction and I'm going to show you you how it'll just take me a couple of minutes all right now I'm going to start by showing you the output of these lesson plans as you can see in the response page here you're able to scroll through the responses to each part of the lesson plan and kind of get a really brief overview of what's going on in that department um, this is really great for department heads uh, to kind of come in and make sure that everybody's on the same page and doing what they're supposed to do um, this is the money part right here this is it uh, this is a spreadsheet where every part of the lesson plan that everybody submits is broken down and you're able to go through and really run data analysis on um, each part of the lesson plan as you need. You're able to hit this little explore tab in the bottom right hand corner that they've added and you can actually just type in a question about the data and it's going to give you an answer. You're able to scroll down and see various um, bar graphs that it, it pulls out of the data and it's just it's really great for analyzing what's going on in the department especially after you get some testing data back or after you get your summative assessments to really go back and see what was effective uh, in your lesson planning and what needs to be changed for next year. All right, the first thing you wanna do is type in forms in the Google search bar there. You're gonna to go to forms and you're gonna create a blank form by hitting this button right here. All right, you're gonna give it a title, your math lesson plan, English lesson plan, however you wanna do. Um, and then you can see right here, you add a question. These are all the various types of things you can add to the form. Um, I start with a checkbox of the teacher's name, that way you know which teacher is turning in the lesson plan, which is really important, don't forget to do that. Um, and it also allows you to check more than one box. So if you have teachers that are co-planning together, uh, they're able to do that. We add a date, so you know what date the lesson plan is for. And then you just kind of go through whatever your lesson plan format is already and add those into the form. Um, we start with a focus question, um, and you can do this in short answer. Um, and then our academic standards. The academic standards I've seen done as a Dropbox, but that is a lot of time of copy and pasting all those into a Dropbox. So I leave that short answer. Um, lesson purpose. Um, if you do multiple choice like this, you're able to see those cool little pie graphs at the end when you go through and really get a snapshot of how their, how their instruction is taking place. Um, and then another one we do is groupings, uh, if they're individual pairs, whole group or small group. Um, that way it gives us some really easy to access information about how the lessons are taking place in the classroom. All right, now that you have your lesson plan where you want it, um, you can go up and click responses. This is where the responses are gonna generate uh, your little summary preview and then you can click this button and that's going to create the spreadsheet which you can then print or download here. Um, up in the top right hand corner you're going to see your settings button this is where you can go through and click for uh, to collect email addresses to give them read receipts which I think is important what this does is when they submit their lesson plan it emails them a copy of it so they're able to print it or to save it as PDF to their um, to their lesson plan file um, and then you can hit this preview button right here. Now this is a very important step. When you hit that preview button, you can go through and fill all this stuff out. Make sure your drop down boxes are working. Make sure that everything is doing what you want it to do before you send it out to all your teachers and then get that feedback. Um, so here you go. And then you can go through and click responses and see the response that you submitted to make sure that, that you're getting the information that you wanted to collect, um, either through the individual side or the summary side there. And then we're gonna go back up and go ahead and create the spreadsheet and this button here and click create and this is going to be the spreadsheet where all the data is going to aggr aggregate um, over the year so that's working so I think it's looking pretty good so now that we're sure that everything works we're gonna go up here and to the send button uh, where you're able to email it out you're able to embed it or create a link there uh, if you want to send it out in another way but I email it straight from here I just put in the the email address of whoever I'm sending it to um, and then it gives you an option to add 
some information and then I'm gonna hit send and then it's gonna pop up in my email here I click on it and it's just the link there you go and it's gonna take you right to that lesson plan format ready to go that's all they need once they get this they're able to fill out that form what I do suggest they do to make it easier for them to submit more lesson plans in the future is to grab this little button right here and drag it over to their desktop and create a shortcut now they have a shortcut to this lesson plan format um, anytime they're ready to make a lesson plan all they got to do is double click on this it's gonna pop right up they're able to fill that out hit submit and uh, and then do it over again if they would like so it's just that easy for them so once they hit submit it's going to pop up in the G Drive of whoever created the form. And what I would do is I would go in and create a lesson plan folder. Now you're able to share that folder amongst the, the administration or the department heads or whoever needs the lesson plan information. Um, as we see here, I'm adding some people to the file. And now um, as we create a lesson plan for each department, math, English, social studies, um, we're able to drag those into this file. It'll keep them all separate. So you're able to see their responses. You're able to see um, their spreadsheets of information. And uh, they're all gonna be in this file for everybody to collaborate on. That way, if you need to add someone from the district to your lesson plan so they're able to see what you have going on in your building, um, you're able to do that. All right, well that pretty much does it for our introduction of setting up your lesson plans in Google Forms and saving them on a G Drive. I hope that you found this informative. If you have, please hit like and subscribe below. And each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technologies and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.